again we declare today upon the authority of God's Word that only the righteousness of Christ will avail on the day of judgment is that the ground of your refuge today my dear friends is that the ground of your faith is that the foundation of your faith because nothing else is going to last nothing else is going to help you nothing else is going to be of any lasting benefit except for your faith to be built upon the foundation of the righteousness of Jesus Christ the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth it's him that we declare unto you today you must have the righteousness of Christ in order to be saved to have eternal life there's no other way there's no other way your righteousness is in my righteousness are only filthy rags in the sight of God oh how we need the righteousness of Christ how do we receive the righteousness of Christ it's given to all who believe it's given to all who believe we read the verse there in first John chapter 5 and verse number 10 friends hear me today as we declare unto you the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ there are two main matters of concern between God and man first of all man has sinned against God God has given us his holy word he's given us his standard it is a good standard it is a just standard it, it's a perfect standard and we fall short of it we've sinned and we've fallen short we have violated the law of God we've sinned against God and God's Word declares in Romans chapter 6 and verse number 23 for the wages of sin is death for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord so you've sinned against God that's a that's a problem we, we must understand this that is a major problem mankind is sinned against God secondly here's another matter here's another issue that we need to be concerned about today that we need to think about and that is the wrath of God poured out against sin God is a God and people today will often say well God is love and yes God is love but God is also a God of wrath who pours out his wrath against sin and it's only the only the righteousness of Christ will avail on the day of judgment my dear friends oh how how you need the gospel oh how we all need the gospel so mankind has sinned they violated the law of God and God, God's response to mankind's sin is, is, is wrath. And here's the thing. In and of ourselves, we can do nothing about either.